What is up? I'm Brie K with Arabit, and in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to NFTs in the music and music production space. You've probably heard the terms NFT, metaverse, blockchain, all floating around on the internet lately. And this video is just going to give you a quick introduction to NFTs and their current relationship with the music production and the music production spaces and some of their potential relationship with those spaces. So first of all, what is an NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible token and fungibility just refers to the ability to replace or exchange a thing. So non-fungibility means that the token is not easily replaced or exchanged. NFTs are currently largely being used to sell digital art in exchange for cryptocurrency on the blockchain. What's the blockchain? In simple terms, the blockchain is like a record or a database that stores information. When an NFT is purchased, this transaction is stored on the blockchain and the NFT goes to what is called your wallet. You can look up different places to sign up for a crypto wallet. Personally, I have a MetaMask wallet, a Phantom wallet, and a Coinbase wallet but you can choose whatever wallet or wallets are applicable to your NFT and crypto experience. Currently, some of the more popular and successful NFT projects are collections of visual art that are similar but have unique traits meaning that each NFT is a one of one unique piece of art. When someone purchases an NFT from one of these collections, that unique piece of art is then sent to their wallet. And since the transaction is recorded on the blockchain, they are able to verify that they own that unique piece of art. Now I know you're probably thinking, what is so great about owning a piece of art from one of these NFT collections? Couldn't I just take a screenshot of the art or download a copy of the art from the internet? And the answer is yes, you could, but you could also download a picture or screenshot a picture of Van Gogh's Starry Night or one of Van Gogh's Starry Nights but it's not gonna get you the 100 plus million dollars that you would get if you sold an authentic Starry Night because your screenshot's not authentic. With NFTs, your ownership and authenticity are proved on the blockchain. So basically, the blockchain determined that your screenshot was a lie. If your ownership is not verified on the blockchain, you don't own it. Now, let's talk about music, audio, and NFTs. So personally, I have been buying and reselling NFTs since August of 2021, and NFT collections that include music or audio at all are still pretty rare. They are out there, but they're rare in comparison to the amount of visual NFT collections. On the flip side of this, there are music artists who have been selling their music as NFTs. There are also music artists who have been selling portions of the rights to their masters or to their copyright in the form of NFT tokens. There are also music artists who have been auctioning their artwork, their photography, their music videos, etc., as NFTs, not in a collection, but like as limited edition pieces. Now let's think about you as a music artist or producer. What could you do with NFTs? My first piece of advice is not to do anything until you have a good grasp on the technology and how it works. If my explanations of NFT and blockchain didn't do it for you, find some explanations that do. Fully understand what NFT is, what the blockchain is, what cryptocurrency is, and the risks attached to it. Create a crypto wallet if you don't already have one. I also encourage you to immerse yourself in NFT culture and NFT buyer culture. Search for some NFT projects and or creators or investors on Twitter and follow them. Get in some NFT groups on Discord. Observe what different collections and creators have to offer, ask questions when you have them, and understand the potential and the utility of owning certain NFTs. And learn not to fall for scams. That probably should have been the first thing. Once you've done that, here are some ideas for how you might sell NFTs in regards to your music or music production. You could offer exclusive beats as NFTs. Maybe drop a collection of like 10 unique beats and offer them exclusively as NFTs. And when an artist buys it, they get exclusive rights to that beat and it's recorded on the blockchain. If the artist decides to buy it and sell it again on the secondary market for more, you could put it in your smart contract before selling it as an NFT that you would get a percentage of a creator's royalty. So that means if they do buy your NFT and they decide to resell it for more, you would get a percentage. That's just an idea of something you could do. 
and shoot, I might do it. For artists, another idea that I've seen other artists do is you could offer exclusive photography or artwork and auction that as NFTs to your fans, maybe surrounding a single or a project. And to help onboard your fans in case they're not regular NFT buyers, you could put a link to your NFTs in your merch store if you have merch or wherever it is that you advertise your music that you sell or your merch that you sell and just go from there. Another idea, many NFT projects kind of already do a version of this, but for you, you could offer like maybe five to 10 visual art NFTs and let buyers get access to your shows or maybe early access to your music, maybe a FaceTime call with you once a year or something like that. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. Those are just a few ideas of what you could consider doing with NFTs. Now, how do you actually make an NFT? It depends on which network you want to sell on, but you could go to OpenSea.io or SoulSea.io and click create and then follow the instructions. Lastly, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of educating yourself on NFTs before just jumping into them. I intentionally did not mention any specific collections or creators in this video because I did not want anybody running out and dropping their whole life savings on a collection or creator just because I mentioned it. Make sure that you get it first. Again, the best places that I can direct you to to educate yourself are Twitter and Discord. Search NFT on Twitter and just start reading through the hashtag. If you see some projects that catch your eye, follow them on Twitter and join their Discord group and observe. This is, in my opinion, the best way to learn about NFTs. Also, don't forget to learn about cryptocurrency. I would specifically encourage you to learn about Ethereum because most NFT projects are sold on the Ethereum network. And that is pretty much it for this video. Are you into buying, selling, or collecting NFTs? Please let us know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. And please go ahead and also click that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we post content like this that is helpful or interesting to artists, producers, and creators like yourself. If you're not in our Discord group, feel free to join there and we can talk more about NFTs there if you're interested. If you're not already in our Discord group, the link is in the description. Go ahead and join and we can talk more about NFTs there if you would like to. If you made it this far into the video, I think it's safe to say that you kind of liked it, so please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, I am Brie K with Airbit. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.